Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through problem 10. And in problem 10, it says, what is the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of y equals e to the x over 2 and the line x equals 2? So you should start with a drawing of the region. It shouldn't need to be very exact, but you know, you ought to be somewhat accurate. And um, it mustn't be your first time graphing um, a variation of e to the x, but if it is, no big deal. Um, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but you are in calculus, so you must just mean that you have a little bit more studying to do. Um, okay, cool. So, look here. So, y equals e to the x over 2, we'd anticipate at x equals 0 um, would, would give us a y that is 1, as a lot of exponential functions that haven't been vertically shifted do. Um, so then we know that 0 goes through 1. Now, um, we know that if we plug in x equals 2, we're going to get y equals um, e to the 2 over 2, which is e to the 1, which is simply e, which we know roughly to be 2.7. Okay, so we know that when x is 2, instead of zero, we get a number between two and three closer to three, so I'll say right there. Okay, I think that's all I need. I know that um, the x-axis is, is a horizontal asymptote for e to the x with my familiarity of graphing e to the x, so I think I've got this. Um, I would graph it like this. Something like that, okay. And that was actually that one better than I had hoped, so that's great. Now, um, for us, this is probably more detailed drawing than we actually need, but it's fine. Um, vertical line, okay, got it, slide. And we also have x equals 2 as a boundary for our region, so it's clear that I kind of missed. No, I'm gonna like it slide a little to the right, okay. It's better. Okay, I missed it, but this point is supposed to be right there. And this corresponding y value is clearly supposed to be e. Okay, right there, right? Or this is 3, and this is 2, and this is 1. Okay, I'll do those in red so that it's not confusing, sorry. 3, 2, 1. 1, 2. Therefore, this is x equals 2. Okay, so the region is the region bounded in the first quadrant by that graph, we got it, the blue graph, and the line x equals two, and the first quadrant, so then it must be just this region. And what do we need to do? We need to find its area. Got it, that's pretty straightforward, right? We've done the hard part, I think. So the area should be the integral from zero to two of e to the x over two um, dx. That is it, wow, how anticlimactic. Now, uh, you could do a little u substitution with u equaling x over 2, but, um, you know, I'm kind of experienced, so I'm going to say that the antiderivative of e to the x over 2 is uh, 2 e to the x over 2. You want to check, take the derivative of this. If you do, then you're going to get 2 times e to the x over 2 times a half, which is going to give you e to the x over 2, therefore saying that I had guess the right antiderivative. Okay, correct. Okay, so then at this point, did I just say correct to myself? Okay, but whatever. Okay, um, so vertical bar, and zero to two. All right, and so plug in and you're done. So when you plug in two, you get e to the, two times e to the two over two. And when you plug in zero, you get two times e to the zero over two. When you simplify that, you get 2 times e minus um, 2 times 1, which is 2 times e minus 2, and uh, yeah, that's an answer right here. Hmm, these lazy mathematicians sometimes, because I would have thought being mathematicians, they would have wanted to factor it like that, but it's fine, whatever. Okay, I guess they figured you toiled hard enough. Actually, this question wasn't that bad. Uh, keep watching. Take care.